south of Das Lake Victoria, is Africa's largest, and supports a myriad of flora and fauna ecosystem. Over 40 million people are dependent on Lake Victoria for their livelihood. This critical lake is however under threat from the persistent water hyacinth weed that has invaded large parts of it. My name is uh, Richard Ochinarua. I'm the founder of the Center for Innovation, Science and Technology in Africa. Initially, people didn't see its effect because it was manageable. But as we talk now, it has deprived people from their economic activities. The boats are trapped. Those who are doing local tourism cannot do their businesses. Those who are doing fishing cannot do their businesses. This weed, unless it is contained, then we will not have what is called a Lake Victoria anymore. Several attempts have been made to weed out or destroy the water hyacinth. The weed still remains determined to disrupt the lives of surrounding communities and its environs. Richard Ochiyeng is a passion-driven chemistry teacher working with students to reverse the disruption made by water hyacinth in the lake. We work with the students in a project called Science and Engineering Fair where students and teachers come up with ideas for various categories for competition. So in 2009 we tried it for a competition. So we took a few, a few samples into the lab. We processed using the glass apparatus. We fermented, we distilled and we got some good quality result and we found it was a viable project, especially an alternative source of energy. As a result of its outstanding qualities, bioethanol fuel has proved a good alternative source of clean, affordable, accessible energy. Our product uh, is very clean. It does not produce soot. It does not produce smell while it is burning. In terms of carbon emission, I want to say that uh, one liter of paraffin emits eight times more carbon compared to one liter of uh, our biofuel. Clean and renewable energy solutions, developed by Richard and his students, have not only served to help concur the water hyacinth menace in Lake Victoria, but have also received recognition by the National Environmental Trust Fund. Netfund support initiatives that offer alternative green energy sources. We gave our application under secondary schools category. Uh, through very vigorous process of judging, we managed to secure position one under secondary schools category. So that also even boosted our morale and we really realized that it has the potential of uh, being a viable business. WWF works with partners such as Netfund to develop initiatives that propagate clean, affordable and renewable energy solutions through innovation. The support was used for qualitative tests in the laboratory in Nairobi and then we purchased, we managed to purchase uh, 100 stoves. They are very nice stoves which we gave free to the families. Uh, the money also helped us to produce enough quantity to be used for what is called a market acceptability test. And uh, the result we got was uh, overwhelming. The bioethanol fuel, being produced at cottage industry level, is a cheaper alternative to fossil fuels and is receiving good uptake by the community. Our fuel is five shillings cheaper than paraffin. But remember the cost of paraffin has been shooting. So in terms of even cost and maybe the rate of combustion, then our fuel still beats even charcoal. Maybe firewood is cheaper, but we are seeing accessibility to firewood is uh, becoming a problem. The potential for scaling up a production of bioethanol fuel is promising. Bioethanol fuel production can be replicated to other parts of the country where similar environmental challenges continue to grow unabated. The business future is brighter for us. From here we want to expand our production capacity. Right now we produce about 300 liters per day full time. But now we want to produce 3,000 liters per day. 